Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am just going to take you on a little day in the life after work. I'm going to harvest in the garden, feed the chickens, do some things around the house and I thought I'd take you guys along with me. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson and I love to do all things homemaking and I would love it if you would subscribe if you're looking for a little fun motivation and if you're returning, it is so great to see you. Okay guys, let's jump into this day. Today's sponsor has been an absolute game changer for my skin. If you guys are familiar with Typology, you are going to love this. So they are a French skincare brand that is made in Paris and has the most incredible technology of how they actually create your custom skincare products. So to get started, you actually take a free skin diagnostic test, which gives you personalized skincare recommendations that are particular for your skin. So not like, you know, oily, dry combination skin, which is like really widely used in the skincare industry. The skin diagnostic test actually places you into one of 24 different typologies based on your skin needs, environmental factors, things like that. What I loved about it is after I took my test, which only took about four minutes, it was validated by a dermatologist and I was actually prescribed an AM and PM routine that specifically supports my skin typology. So I have extremely chronic dry skin and I'm also aging I'm going to be 40 next year. So for me, I wanted to have a routine in the AM PM that not only supports my aging, supports my dry skin, but also will support the elements because I am outside all the time. All of their products are vegan and created in France and they're naturally sourced from healthy, effective and environmentally friendly partners. I highly recommend checking this out. My favorite, I love a cleansing oil. I don't know if you guys use cleansing oils, but I absolutely love cleansing oils. I feel like it really gets deep into my skin. I also love their botanical blend with a peony uh, night serum. It's so good. It makes my skin feel so dewy and it's not oily in the sense that your skin feels oily. It just feels like it's glowing. I have been using this for a week now and I have to tell you my skin feels different. Even people at work and friends say, your skin is always glowing, what are you doing differently? And I'm telling you, this has been a game changer. So if you wanna join me and have nice, dewy, glowing skin, today they are offering with a minimum purchase of $40, you get a free serum for wrinkles and blemishes, which is my favorite because that product not only comes with retinol in it, but it also comes with an antibacterial um, property in it, which is really important for your skin. A lot of times breakouts happen because of bacteria, so this is an awesome product to put on every single night and wake up with refreshed, beautiful skin. Thank you again to Typology for sponsoring today's video and creating products that make me feel beautiful. After work, my favorite thing to do is get out of my work clothes and go check on the chickens. They usually are ready for their dinner about the time I get home, which is around four or five o'clock. And Blanca is still broody as ever. I have never seen her be this broody this long. Typically she's broody a little bit in the spring, but this year she has been brooding on eggs all summer long. And I just gotta take her out of there. We gotta shake it off. If you guys aren't familiar with what brooding is, it's when a chicken sits on an egg thinking it's going to hatch. It's actually a biological thing that happens. She doesn't have control over it. It's just like what her body tells her to do, but they get very protective and aggressive. She's not, but some chickens do, like they will bite you and things like that. She doesn't because she's a love bug, but um, it does kind of mess with her, men her mental state. So I like to take her out of there and then she runs around and she's happy again. But after that, I like to pop into the garden. I feel like the first couple weeks back to work, I really dropped the ball in the garden. So now my big thing is to come in here, remove all the tomatoes, so I don't see any red tomatoes in here and the zucchinis, which have been growing like crazy. Pretty much the only things that I have been harvesting out of this garden this year have been um, my padrone peppers, the poblanos, which are both my favorites. Uh, tomatoes are finally coming in, but again, still have a lot of green on there. And then a whole bunch of zucchinis. Next year, I'm gonna do a big different um, 
variation of this garden. And I think I'm gonna move all the tomatoes to the other side in the new bed that I'm gonna put in. But for now, for my first time ever having a garden, I thought this went really well. The one thing I realized because I haven't been out here is I had a ton of Roma, Roma tomatoes that came in. So I thought it'd be fun to show you guys a 30 minute homemade sauce. It's very simple to make. Um, I'm gonna show you in the kitchen after this, but it was like one of those days I thought, you know, I'm just gonna do a farm to table dinner and I can't wait to show you guys how it turns out. I'd love to know in the comments down below, what is your favorite thing to decompress after a long day, whether you go to work or you are volunteering during the day, taking care of somebody during the day, what is the one thing after five o'clock that you really love to just unwind? For me, spending time in the garden has become one of my favorite ways to decompress after a long day. It has been quite a challenge to get back into the throes of going to work, kids are back at school and things like that. So it's been a little bit of challenge in the sense of I'm trying to get recalibrated with my routine. But I will say the second that I get out of my work clothes and step into this garden, I just feel all of the stress of the day just melt away. It has been so warm here. We've been having these really cold weeks and then now it's like 98 degrees. So it feels good to just be out in the sun. Another reason why you should consider the Typology um, skincare line. They have UV barriers and really great skincare if you do spend a lot of time out in the sun. So I always like to add a little bit of that in my morning routine because I know by the end of the day, I will be out frolicking in the garden and I definitely want to keep my skin nice and safe. Okay, I was going to water, but look who's dirt bathing. Our angry little Blanca. Are you having a dirt bath? Ooh, so happy in there. Her face is all dark. <laughs> Hi, Salt. So I've got everything harvested out of this garden. I am not going to water because she's happy. Things all over the place. Um, I'm going to pull some of these peppers out. Um, these are insanely spicy. Uh, they're jalapeno, so I thought they were supposed to be green, but anyway. A lot of red in the garden today. So we got a bunch of cherry tomatoes, a couple padrones. I'll add that to the ones I have, some heirlooms, and then we have a bunch of romas that we're going to make sauce with. So the garden has less red. I'll go ahead and water this and then We'll head inside. Before we get started on the sauce, I wanted to get everything nice and cleaned. I usually will come in here, wash my hands after being out the garden and in the chicken coop, and then I will clean all of the vegetables that I harvested from there. This is usually around the time I start to think about what I'm gonna make for dinner. I haven't been doing a whole lot of meal planning because it's been summertime and we've just been more go with the flow, especially I've come home a couple days so tired from work that we've just done DoorDash. So I need to get more formal about our um, meal planning, especially with the kids going back to school. So we've got a couple things going on. The kids go back to school. We actually have a trip coming up. Um, so I'm gonna be out of town. And then I figured right when I get back towards the end of August, that's when I'm gonna get really intentional about my routine. Cause even if I start it now, it's gonna change for an entire week and then we'll come back to it. So 
really just what I've been trying to do at the end of the day is go in the garden, harvest what we have, and then make either a nice primavera pasta or roast some chicken with some vegetables from the garden. We have eaten almost everything out of our garden. It has not been so robust that like we can't, we can't keep up with it, but when we do, we just give it to our neighbors. So with all these tomatoes, it looks a little overwhelming, but we're gonna make a delicious uh, homemade sauce. It only takes about 30 minutes to make. The first thing you wanna do is turn on your oven to 375. I'm just gonna take our clean Roma tomatoes. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to it. I really like to coat these, that way they don't burn. And then I'm gonna be adding, I like to use the 21 Salute from Trader Joe's, but any herbs de Provence or anything like that, a nice Italian seasoning will go well with these. I like that it kinda of just brings in the flavor when it's roasting and then we're gonna add it again to the sauce. Once you have all of that prepared, we're gonna add it to the oven for about 20 minutes, but definitely watch to make sure they don't start burning. All we wanna do is cook down the tomatoes so that we can just pull the skins right off and then we are going to put them in a blender. As the evenings progress here in Napa Valley, it tends to get a little cooler, so I went ahead and changed into something a little warmer, and we're gonna get started on the sauce. So for this, I just use a pair of tongs, and um, definitely put an apron on because, <laughs> because it makes a bit of a mess. And I had my Tommy John long sleeves shirt on, which I love, so I definitely didn't wanna stain it. But go ahead and take the skins off. All you have to do is pick the tomato up, and typically the tomato will just slide right out. Um, other recipes I've seen, they add the um, skins in, I, I don't prefer it. I like a more rustic tomato sauce, so um, I typically won't keep um, the skins in there because little pieces will get in my teeth. I don't know, it's just not my favorite. So here we are with our second batch. While that's cooking, I am hanging out with the kids. Everyone's in the kitchen while I'm cooking. We also have some reggae music on today. We always typically have music on. That's why I don't, I always do voiceovers because I never want the kids or anyone in my family to feel like they have to be quiet or can't be running around and playing and laughing. Um, for the sake of a video, so I always do voiceovers for that reason. And um, this particular evening was no different. They're out and about running around, so it's been a happy, full summer, and the kids have been having a really good time. So to get our sauce going, I'm gonna put in some olive oil. I use about one fourth cup, and then I'm going to add in some onions and garlic. I'm gonna use whole garlic clove because um, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna put it in the blender anyway. If I just put it in there whole. We're gonna let that reduce down for about 15 minutes, and then we are gonna throw all of that into the blender, and then we're done. I don't know if you guys can tell, but underneath these tomatoes is about one cup of some tomato uh, juice. I actually wait till the very end. I'll remove the skins and pour that into a bowl. It is basically tomato juice with that seasoning we had and some olive oil, and it's so good. I add it back into our pasta, which you'll see at the end. Instead of using a little pasta water in my uh, pasta sauce, I'm just gonna be adding that back in, and it's super yummy. Once the garlic and onions have stewed down to when they're translucent and fragrant, go ahead and transfer them to a blender. Make sure your blender is um, heat proof, that way it doesn't break. I like to use the Vitamix, it's a great solution for that. You could also use a food processor. So we're gonna add the tomatoes, and I have to do this in two batches, but once you get it pretty full, we're gonna just blend this up a little bit. If you want it to be very runny, go ahead and blend it till it's pure or rustic like I do. I just give it like maybe 30 seconds on the blender and then I'm gonna add it back into the pot.
While we were cooking this, I was asking the kids if they would ever buy a candle or let me have a candle that smelled like this tomato sauce because it smells so good. I don't know about you, but I love the smell of garlic and onions stewing on a pot. Like it's, it just smells like home and I thought it would be funny if I created a onion and garlic candle. <laughs> Tell me in the comments down below if you'd buy it. <laughs> okay, so once you have your sauce all blended up, Go ahead and add in an eight ounce can of tomato paste. This is just gonna be a nice thickening, thickening agent to the pasta sauce. You can omit this if you want it to be completely farm to table, but I like to add it in there because it makes it nice and thick. To get ready for our pasta, I'm just gonna add a little bit of the pasta sauce to a pan. Then I am going to add in some Parmesan cheese and our pasta. I like to cook it down this way because the cheese melts into it and it creates the most delicious flavor. Again, we're gonna add back that um, tomato uh, juice that we had from um, roasting the tomatoes. This turns out super yummy and it's super easy to make. It literally only took me 30 minutes. Once all the Parmesan cheese has melted, I like to garnish this with a little bit of fresh parm, some red pepper flakes, and some basil. This is really easy to make. If you have a garden filled with tomatoes, uh, I would highly recommend using Roma tomatoes. It's great for making sauce. Heirlooms will break down and don't really have the robust flavor. So if you have Romas, you can make this or you can buy them from the store. Either way, it's super delicious. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next video real soon. Bye.